Hello and welcome to another video on Back of the Net. I'm Mr. Tiggs and today we've got a news roundup and we've got a Super 6 funnel forecast to sink your teeth into. And we'll be talking about people sinking teeth into things a little bit later on. But first, I want to bring in the main man, the man, the myth, the legend, my hero, Tony Funnel. How you doing, Tony? Very well. Yep, very well. Well, Tony, we've got so much to talk about. Absolutely bundles of things. We're going to rattle through. Uh, if you haven't already seen, there's another video uh, that came out because uh, Bournemouth are looking to sign somebody, a, a chap called Ben Pearson. Uh, Sam did a wonderful piece with Tom and some other people today all about that. So we'll put a little link in the top there for you if you didn't already see it. Uh, it is exciting seeing Bournemouth signing some some possible players. Uh, Tony, do you know much about this Ben Pearson guy or it's, it's a bit new to me, if I'm honest. I know he played yeah. very well against us in, when we played him, Preston North End. Um, former Manchester United player. Oh, the now young, I did not know Youngster that. of Man United, yeah. Ah, I did not know um, that. Yeah. He's about 25, 26. Okay. Strong, midfield, strong midfield player. Yeah. He'll sit in front of the back four, break up attacks. See, strong now, tackler. Yeah, this is what I this is what I've heard about him, but which is interesting to me because we've got a number of players who play that position. Um, you know, Lerma obviously did previously. Uh, Lewis Cook has been doing this season. He's been sitting there a bit more like a kind of a a quarterback. If you you know don't mind the Americanism, you know, but he, he still sits there in in front of the back four. And then you've got, of course, Philip Billing. But which raises the question, Tony, why are we signing Ben Pearson, do you think? Well, I will say you do need a good, strong core of players. We yeah. said from the very start, this is a hard league to get out of. Yeah. So you do need you know, enough players because you're going to lose players. We did talk briefly. We don't know if Lerma might be suspended. So. Yeah, because he did. Well, you know, Tony and I did a video a little while back about when Lerma he got charged. He, well, charged. He was being investigated for biting, and and nothing yet has come of that. And we're starting to get a little bit nervous, aren't we? Tony? Sort of bite our own fingernails now uh, as to whether Lerma's going to get hit with a bit of a hefty ban. So that could be one reason that Pearson's coming in. Maybe I did. I have a little venture on the internet uh, this afternoon, and I think there's a good chance that he possibly will be banned. Right. Okay. That's what it's looking like at the moment. Yeah, possibly. Okay. And, of course, the other reason could be, we talk about the, the wealth of midfielders we've got. Um, Phil Billing has been linked with a possible new move up to Newcastle, up to the Toon Army. Now, there's a player already there who's been linked with a move back. Have you heard about this, Tony? Yeah, and I'd be happy if this happened. Would you? Yeah, I do like Matt Ritchie, yeah. Good player. Yeah. He's a um, very good team player, mm. works hard for the team, can score goals, can make goals. Mm. Yeah, I like him very much, yeah. He'd be, he'd be a good addition to the squad, definitely. And any Cherries fans out there that remember Matt Ritchie when he played for us before, I think Bournemouth are getting a different player to the one that left. The one that left was a, was a left winger. I think now he's been playing in a more defensive role, but he's still got quite a good engine, although maybe he's not as quick as he used to be. And Tony, I think, Tony, you're spot on. I think that the players across the board that Bournemouth are signing, you know, you look at Ritchie, he's a fighter. You look at Pearson, he's a fighter. And you look at Jack Wilshire, well, he's been known to be a fighter. What do you think about that as a signing, Tony? Jack Wilshire that we 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 talk about a bit of a coup, really. Yeah, um, keeping him fit is the main thing. Mm. Um, we did speak, and you said maybe it'll be used sparingly; it won't be used all the time, which would be a good yeah. idea. Um, he has got some quality. Finished his goal well off the other night. Great finish. Yeah, really good, wasn't it? Yeah, and when he was with us before, he was really unlucky uh, on the goal stakes because he didn't actually score a goal for us, but he got so close. He, you know, he hit everything, woodwork, keepers, you know, toe. It was just all the time, he, you know, he'd get close, but never quite score. And we did 
giving big spaces between games. We didn't play him in, in subsequent games very often. We kept him fit that way. And I suppose with a big squad, if you've got quality, I think Stanislas is coming back. You can maybe rotate those players round. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah. Because like we said, you, you're playing two games a week and maybe more sometimes. So you're going to need a squad. Yeah. So this will you know, hopefully help Bournemouth, especially near the, nearer the end of the season. And, and now we're coming, Tony, we've only got a, a little while left until the end of the transfer window. Is there anything that you're wishing to see come in, go out, stay as it is? What, what, what's your feeling? Stay as it is. Okay. Me, Josh King. I, I'll be happy if he didn't get his transfer. Yeah. If he decided, or obviously the club, they want a certain price for him. Yeah. If they don't get that price and he does stay, I don't think it'll do him any harm because he can help the club to uh, promotion. Yeah. And uh, he's back in the Premiership. That's what we all want. But all's good for everybody then, isn't it? And, yeah. and he's a very, very good player. When yeah. he's on form, he's excellent. He is. And I think that the last two games, he's, he's, had a, he's had a role in both. And uh, he scored, obviously, against Crawley. Uh, and he looked good in that game. Uh, you know, really good. Morgan mentioned it in, in a video earlier on to, uh, earlier on yesterday. Uh, and also, uh, he played really well in the game before that, actually. He was really unlucky. He just didn't look quite sharp enough to get the goal, if you know yeah. what I mean. He was getting in the right positions and he was creating opportunities. So, yeah, really good point, Tony. Um, okay, well, fingers crossed for all of that. Uh, before the transfer window slams shut, though, we have got a fixture left to play, and that's this Friday night against Reading. Tony, do you have any any feelings today about what you think might happen? Yeah, well, they both seem on par form form wise. There's not a great deal, you know, between them. Mm. Um, I think if Bournemouth could score a few more goals, you'd be a bit more confident going into the game. I mean, I I think people who look at it now thinking. Well, a draw wouldn't be a bad result, but Bournemouth have got the team to beat Reading, but it's putting away the chances. Yeah. Yeah. You've got, you've got to score the goals. You have got to, you have got to score the goals. Yeah. And I, you know, the, the one last piece of information that we probably haven't spoken about today is that one of the coaches at Bournemouth, Graham Jones, has actually left the club. And uh, he's gone up to Newcastle because he's a Newcastle fan. And uh, supposedly. But it was interesting because a lot of Bournemouth fans wonder if he have, has had inv an influence on the playing style and the way that we, you know, very high possession based playing style. It'd be interesting to see if that changes in an effort to get more goals over the next few games um, because Bournemouth do keep the ball a lot, which is great because it stops the other team from scoring. But I think other teams are, are quite happy to soak up that, let Bournemouth have the ball, we'll just sit back. And it's really difficult to, we've talked about it before, haven't we, Tony? It's really difficult to unlock defences that way. Yeah, I mean, earlier on in the season, they seemed to be playing a bit more freer, didn't they? I agree with you. Yeah, completely. Yeah, we want to see that back again, don't we? It's it's difficult because you want a happy medium. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to play too free of football and leave yourself open, you know, and give points away that way. You no. just want a happy medium between the two. Yeah, I think they get there. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. And they got we got Begovic in goal. I mean, you don't need a defence, yeah. do you? <laughs> that is right, yeah. yeah. Uh, right, that was brilliant. So that was our news roundup. And now we're going to be doing our final forecast, Super 6. On the cross by Heffernan. And was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from Tunnel. From Tunnel. From Tunnel. And here we are, Tony. So right here, right now, we're looking at that league. And Tony Funnel... You're not a million miles away. Uh, you're in 10th on, um, what's that, 243 points. But tell yeah, me I, spent, I spent a couple of weeks in eighth position yeah. and trying, to, trying to get up to that top five. But um, you know what happened to me last night. Yeah. yeah, we all got a little bit caught out by this. I got a message... Uh, and I messaged you, didn't I, and Sam, and said, what's going on? There's a, there's a Super 6. We didn't even know, did we? We didn't know there was no. a Wednesday night Super 6. Because Bournemouth played on the Tuesday night, 
and that was the end of the Super Six week. It was a little bit sneaky, um, but not as sneaky, Tony, if you don't mind me saying, and apologies if anyone's offended by this, by some of your relatives. Let's have a little look. Wait a minute. Naomi Jenkins is in ninth. So somehow, Tony, she's leapfrogged you. So she must have known. And she I'm knew it was on, yeah. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Stephen Wheeler wasn't that close to you on points, was he? I did send them out a WhatsApp and said, what's going on? No did one you? told me. And they turned around and said, it's my job to tell everyone else. Oh, dear. Because that's what I've done. Every time there's been a midweek list, I've said, yeah. there's a Super 6 in this Wednesday. Get it, don't forget. Oh. But the time that I didn't send them anything, no one bothered to send me. No one bothered. Oh, wow. That, that. There's a lot of rivalry in this family. You can see that, can't you? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, well. Uh, we'll leave that there, Tony. I don't I don't want to, you know, no. I don't want to cast any more dispersions upon your family. Let's have a little look at the league, though. So we got, uh, there's Naomi. Alan Rocket. Sorry, buddy. I think you probably made the same mistake as us. He's down to eight. Jamie Dawson's down to seventh. And Colin Stevenson's down to sixth. We've got Mark Cole in at fifth. Tyler Gregory Wareham, he's still going good guns. Fair play to the guy. He's come from nowhere, really. Lewis Curtis, Brian Baxter, doing very, very well. But look at that. Zachariah Modridge, 264 points. That's quite that's a little distance from Brian Baxter in second, isn't it, Tone? I badly need him to blow up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all badly do. Badly need him to blow up, yeah. Yeah, that was, that's an incredible, uh, incredible points total, I think. When that's you really say... Great. Uh, you do, we all do. Well, probably, probably Sam needs about 50 people to blow up. <laughs> yeah, he needs us all to forget one week. <laughs> sorry, Sam. Sorry, <laughs> he won't mind. Uh, right, let's have a little look then. So, we'll have a little play of the round. Let's go and see what we've got this week. Uh, and we're starting Tony with a Premier League fixture. We've got Manchester City against Sheffield United. How do you think? This one's going to go. Good result for Sheffield the other day. Well, I must admit, if I were picking my predictions in the week, I would have gone for Man United. So I wouldn't have got any points there anyway. No. I'm going to go... Sheffield United will probably defend again deep, a lot of numbers. But mm. Manchester City, whether you attack them or sit back, they pick you off and get through you. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go Man City 3-0. Yeah, I'm popping it in. Here we go. I think I agree with you, Tony. I do. I think, um, yeah, I think poor old uh, Aaron Ramsdale is not having the best of time, is he? Picking that ball out the back no, of his yeah. net every week. Uh, we've got Palace against Wolves. Another Premier League affair. Very, very interesting. What do you think is going to happen there? Yeah, this one, I'm going 2-1 Palace. 2-1 Tony. Yeah. 2-1 Tony. Let's shoot on down here. We've got a championship game. Derby, not doing pretty, not doing bad at all under Wayne Rooney against Bristol City, who have been doing well pretty much all season, really. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, they are a strong side, Bristol City. Um, mm. Derby, they're not giving a lot away. I'm sorry to say, 2-1 again. I'm going 2-1 Bristol City. Yeah. Okay, we're going to shoot along. Back to the Premier League. West Brom against Fulham. This is probably quite an important game for both teams, I'd say, Tony. Yeah. And I think it's that important that it could end up a draw. I'm going 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Cancel each other out. I don't think either of them will want to lose a game. So. No. No. Uh, and then we got Notts Forest against Barnsley. Going for an away win. Do I get double points for a away win? <laughs> I don't think you do, do you? <laughs> uh, I'm Stop going 1-0 Barnsley. 1-0 Barnsley. Okay, lovely. Now, obviously, uh, I didn't know if you know this, Bourne fans, but Notts Forest uh, had a little bid for Dan Gosling uh, this week as well. And Dan Gosling turned it down. He said he wanted to stay and fight for his place at AFC Bournemouth. Yeah, I'm happy with that as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. He's a good lad. He works hard. He does work hard. Uh, Huddersfield against Stoke. I'm going... 
Away win again, 2 1 Stoke. 2 1 Stoke, 2 1 Tony. Oh, oh, we did it. Is that it? Is that all six? That's oh, it. That's yeah, we've done the six. Me. Okay. Right. Golden goal prediction, Tony Funnel. We've we, we done the Super Six quick because I wanted to make sure I was in this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going um, four <laughs> minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to shoot down there. We're going to challenge Jeff uh, and submit our entry. And we are done. But we're not locked in, are we, Tony? No, I tell you, do you know what... Um, Surprise me. I think you tech you WhatsApp me about quarter to five. Yeah. I don't think I think half past one you had to finish putting your selections in. I so I couldn't even put them in yeah. half hour before the game. It was lunchtime, so either way, like either way, I had no chance in the week. I'm gonna do you know, Tony, what I'm gonna do between now. And uh, the next time you and I see each other, I'm going to scour down our Super Six League. I'm going to check every single name and see if any of them work for Sky. Because I'm wondering, you see, if they're, they're trying to pull a fast one on us. You know, one of those top 10 there. Well, what I think is going to happen in future now is that after a Saturday, I'm going to check my WhatsApp and it'll be Tony Rogers. we got midweek fishers coming up this week. <laughs> Don't forget, Tony. Yeah. But I won't get nothing from my family. No, I'll get it from you, Tony. That, and no, that's bad. The family should look after each other. We will we're offering you, uh, Naomi, Stephen, a right to reply. If you if you'd like to if you'd like to come on the show <laughs> that's right, say yeah. you, uh, you're you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Right. Well, Tony, uh, speaking of being more than welcome, you've been more than welcome to have you on the show today. It's been fantastic. And uh, I guess I'll see you in a week's time. Yeah, looking forward to it. Fantastic. So in that case, from Tony Funnel and from me. Adi adios. Adi oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> Everybody in the